We have cabinets everywhere. Good morning, Bridgeview Adventures. Cindy Lynn and Tony here, and we are coming at you today to talk about our gorgeous, fabulous, beautiful, awesome. Did I leave out any adjectives? No, I think we covered just about them all. <laughs> Amish cabinets. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. And if you are new to our channel, we are building our future. We're building our bar barn do, barn dominium, and we are almost completed. We're getting down to the finish line. So we wanted to go through the process of sharing how we picked out our cabinets and why we chose the Amish, the pricing, a little bit about the process. Cabinet, oh, cabinets has, has one benefit in that there's a lot of showrooms out there in the big box stores that you can go to and, and get ideas and see different finishes and... A lot of them also have um, <clears throat> design services that will either online or in the stores will uh, sit down with you with your dimensions and draw them up and you can see the cabinets in the 3D rendering, which really helps out with picturing things and figuring out flow and, and where to put drawers with certain items in them and things like that. So that's one of the nice things about the design aspects of, of cabinets and, and having the availability to go to big box stores and also they will give you an estimate so that can help you decide yeah. of course you can always go back and they'll add you know they'll they'll customize it more later for you but just just to get a general idea so kind of how we started was we had we actually had to start with a plan of of kind of this the size and dimensions and the the layout the of layout. our cabinets especially if you if you look at the screen here where we we spend a lot of time we went back and forth on months trying to figure out how big we wanted the island if we wanted a two-tier mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um we laid out with the dimensions with red red rosin i think you actually brought in some some boards at one time so yeah, we could yeah. you know lay out basically the size of it because at one point we really thought it was going to be too big it was like eight right. foot right. wide and, and and we changed that a lot we ended up with what seven by seven or something very close very close something that yeah which we found out after we started looking and considering countertops uh because you get into seams if you get too big you get into seams also too long mm -hmm. you get into seams so i i do have some design things i would have changed uh even on the long runs in, on the kitchen side on the wall side and also in the bathroom because it's too long yeah, which, which causes a little bit a, too long. Causes it have to have a seam in it, which well, we we could have cut it down. We 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 <clears throat> didn't have to have the our master bath that long. I mean, right. it could have only it could have been halfway. So we 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 could have changed things, but we we decided to keep it that way. So what we did after we kind of you know took us months and months to figure out the design and and the sizes, we we would literally just go around to the big box stores mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and just they you know they all have showrooms they have mm -hmm. cabinets on displays and I would kind of pick out you know colors that I liked and styles that I like stains that I liked I would pick up their brochures they're free there yeah. and, and you know they they're pretty thick they have a lot of cabinets and you know the accessories that's how I found some of the accessories I'd like to go with the cabinets as well knobs Things knobs like yeah you can kind of view everything and then like tony had mentioned earlier you can have them design it up for you with the price and then you also looked online so pinterest, pinterest. was a good point of yep. interest or, or just googling and go into images mm -hmm. for you know kitchen cabinets and master bath cabinets and and things like that so i'm gonna let tony talk a little bit about why we why and how we ended up choosing our amish cabinet maker well, we went to we went to the Amish house who built the barn. He did the framing and all the concrete and everything of that. And we passed by an Amish cabinet company on the way. So when we were looking at the big box stores, we weren't finding a lot that we were comfy with and everything. So I tried to contact them. And when I got a hold of them, they worked through a third party uh, supply house or something of that. And I wasn't too tickled about that. And um, when we were at one of the home shows, we had picked up a brochure 
of another Amish cabinet company. So I sent them an email, but I didn't hear from back from. And later on, we uh, we were kind of getting at the ends of our rope. So I ended up calling them on the phone number that was on the brochure, and sure enough, his email was wrong <laughs> that he had passed on the out brochure. On the yeah. brochure. <laughs> so all those people who had been trying to email, which is a modern technology, and you know a lot of people use nowadays. Uh, he wasn't, uh, they, they weren't getting through. They weren't getting responded back. No, and you don't get a no response back because it's not an email address. It actually emails to a fax machine. Remember, this is the Amish. <laughs> so they don't well, have it was all, wrong anyway. So. <laughs> they don't have all the modern technologies. <laughs> and uh, so we got a hold of him and we drove yeah, out. You to called his, him, didn't you? I called him and we arranged to go out to his, his uh, shop. And showroom. Mm -hmm. And showroom, yep. And we drove out there. It's about an hour and a half away from us to get there. But, you know, you know, took off on a, I think we went on a Saturday and, yeah. and met him out there and uh, took a look at what he had and we were sold. <laughs> yeah. Well, the one thing we just thought when we were tossing around the idea, we, we never could come to a complete conclusion with the big box stores. That's, we were originally going to use them for cabinets because you can get like 30% off and, you know, they, they do some really good deals. But later did we know that the cost was pretty close with the Amish, but we thought it would be really cool to have an Amish built pole barn mm -hmm. and Amish cabinets. They just kind of right. go together. Right. So we were, we were ecstatic to, to find somebody. But then when we ended up going to his showroom or shop, he, you know, he had, he had a whole walls of cabinets. Yeah. He had a showroom set up and you can see in the pictures here. Yeah. It, it was beautiful. And we knew can, at the moment. And he can tell you yeah. about it mm -hmm. because he builds it. Yes. So he knows it intimately. He's Inside not a, and out. He's yeah. not a salesman. He is, he is the craftsman. Man. He, yeah. He came out of the shop to come into the showroom to talk to us. You know, which he, then he was going to go back into the shop and continue working. And you, you, the craftsmanship um, and the quality of the cabinets uh, just didn't even. Yeah. There's nothing else comparable. There was no comparable. There was no comparison. No. No, the, the, I mean, the real wood that they use, uh, you know, no particle board. Yeah, there's no MDF, there's none of the, you know. They let the paint air dry instead of running it through a, a fast production. Right, of, I was asking about his paint finishes, heater. Which I never knew that actually painting is cheaper than stain. I figured stain would be cheaper. That's what he said. The painting <laughs> was cheaper, but he also says that the, the big box stores... They go through production so fast, they don't have time to allow, let it dry. So they run it through an oven to dry it. Mm -hmm. And he said he doesn't have that problem. He just he paints his and he lets it. He he has the time to allow it to sit and dry. So really drew us to the Amish. Also is the is the fact that the person who built it, the two guys who built all of the cabinets, came here and installed them. So there's a sense of pride in their work, and they were very meticulous about every scratch, every seam, every you know, every mm -hmm. part of it. They were intimate to how it was built and made. So that was yeah, their they job. really they really care about their work. So if you factor in, you know, the quality and the care and the craftsmanship, and then look at how much their price was, and compare that to the big box stores, there wasn't that big of a difference. I mean, there was a difference, but not that big of a difference. But uh, yes. it was a difference that we're willing to pay for in this house. So, you know, if we look at the price, it was well worth us to go with them uh, to make that sacrifice for what we're getting out of that money. I mean, the customization that the Amish could do, you go to the big box stores, you get what's on their light item items you know you, you know you're going to get a 24 wide 15 wide you know 12 wide and so forth you know we were able to customize our pantry by making them 33 deep which most most cabinets aren't that deep uh, we also had them make custom cabinet for the laundry room that's over by the washer machine uh, washing machine so that it's higher and a certain width uh, for the countertop that go that's going to go over the washer and dryer so with him since he is building them he would custom make those items and give us a price right there. I mean, it wasn't, you know, we didn't have to, you know, uh, settle for what's in the brochure. <laughs> and we did need a lot of customization. So yeah. it, it was helpful for us. 
and then I was trying to think if there's one one additional thing we wanted to mention so yeah so I did just want to mention so in the beginning I was a little bit leery about getting an Amish cabinet builder just because I didn't know if they would have like some of the special features yeah. and some yeah. of the extra accessories because I knew I did want I think it would be simple yeah, you think that oh they're you know they're not modern so they're not gonna have yeah. a trash can pullouts yeah. and yeah. you know cookie sheet yeah. pullouts and he had cabinetry. all the bling now let me tell you well actually he had he had more bling because they none of the other cabinet people I don't remember them suggesting some of the things that we well, have he, just, he he suggested they would just ask us you know well do you do you want this or do you want this. The Amish would sit there and he'd say, hey, I can fit this over here yes. right by your sink. I can fit this over here by this. Mm -hmm. So he was helping with the design, you know, right along with yeah, that. Yeah, and mean, the accessories. Let's not, you know, we, you don't need that wide of a drawer for, you know, your your knives and forks. You know, right. we, we can drop it down to this and that'll give us three inches there. And you can put a pie sheet there beside the, you know, beside mm -hmm. the oven. And you, you can know? have two pullouts here, yeah. six yeah. inch pullouts yeah. or whatever they are. And he could tell us right then and there. He goes, oh, no, I can do that. Uh, well, no, I can't. We, we need that room. I was like, oh, okay, that's good. So some of the customizations that we had, the, we had the two, two bin trash can pullout. We had a specialty uh, silverware drawer that slides over the top of like a, a big a big spoon and spatula accessory yes hardware and, and where you can stick knives in it uh, yeah we had a there's cooking there's the cookie trays drawers um yeah the spice the spice pull out yep and then the the spatula container holder mm -hmm. it actually mm -hmm. came with a metal bin that you stainless that pulls bin. out yeah. a stainless bin that you put them in and then and then on top of that, you know, we just had the the full customization um, from the Amish. Right, and especially with the pantry because it was so deep, and he was he that would en enable him to, to build it deeper. Uh, so our pantry over by the refrigerator is extremely deep. I mean, a, a whole, an entire arm's length deep. It's thirty three inches. Mm -hmm. So that makes it nice for that. But he also, in the same concept, also said. Yeah, you've got drawers here, but you don't want to put the custom drawers because the drawer slides will be too expensive. He's like, they're, mm -hmm. they're just crazy expensive. It's probably not worth it. And we were like, well, that's okay. You know, you know, we only got a couple of those. and you know, But on the upper sections, it'll be super beneficial. So, you know, he was all good with that. And one, one additional special item that we added was the soft close hinges and hardware. So the, the doors... They they do the soft close. Of course, yeah. the the other the other box stores had those, but that was that was like a must have feature for me. Yeah, yeah. So very nice. And then I guess the last thing we'll talk about is the price, the actual price. So, you know, here at Bridgeview, we're gonna share everything with you, including <laughs> the price, because I know a lot of you out there would be curious as to what, you know, the price of Amish cabinets are, and so were we when we first started. I couldn't wait to. <laughs> yeah. to to get the the, the final yeah, figures just, from yeah, him, just, so just because you're going to a local person to build them doesn't mean you're going to get them cheaper. You know, the mass production yes. places are probably going to be cheaper. Mm -hmm. Some you of can them, get you can dis get discounts. Some too. of them at the big box stores weren't cheaper. Some of them were more expensive. And I, I, yeah, I, you know, they just, they do have different levels of cabinetry yeah. that you can get to. So the higher end ones were definitely more expensive. You, you get what you pay for. You That's get what you sure. pay for, and you need to remember with our price. You know, we ours was pretty much all customization stuff. So, and we have as Tony, I think you had mentioned before. I don't know if it was to me or <laughs> we have <laughs> or on a here. Lot we have a of lot cabinets. of cabinets. Yes. A lot of cabinets. You know, we've got 15 feet on the main kitchen, uh, the main kitchen wall. We've got a huge seven by seven island. We've got custom pantries beside the refrigerator. The cabinets over top of the refrigerator. We have the bar, which was, you know, has glass doors on it, and you know. And, yes, that's right. And uh, you know, he was you know really helpful in that. Uh, then we got the master bathroom, and it's over ten feet long with an upper cabinet on a it. Big and, upper cabinet. And then we have the laundry, which we ended up adding Custom. a bunch, a bunch mm -hmm. of cabinets in there. Um, Uppers and lowers. And we were going to do those by ourselves. We were going to buy those at the we off were. the shelf 
from the big box store. <laughs> so glad we didn't. Yeah, it all matches, so it turned out nice. Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and just reach in deep in the pocket and just go okay. ahead and get what you want to get. The problem with it is when you get spoiled, when they show up and they're so nice and you're so pleased and it's like, okay, we, we need our vanity for the, the, the bathroom downstairs. We just need a, you know, a sink with, you know, 24, it's a little bitty, 24 inch with a, you know, with a mirror. We'll go to the big box store and we'll get one for $199, you know, they've got some and whatnot. <laughs> They do not compare. So we just couldn't make a decision, couldn't pick one out. We were spoiled to death for the ones we got for the kitchen. So, we Yeah, because the, the the bathroom, the I guess the guest bathroom is what I'm, I'm calling it, we did not have a cabinet, a vanity cabinet, in the original cabinet plan. No. So like Tony was saying, we were just going to go, you know, really try to save some money and get a cheaper one. Yeah, it's small, 24. But, yeah. But we couldn't, we couldn't decide after like five trips. And like, Tony's oh, like, that's ugly. He's know? like, will you just get a cabinet? I'm like, I just can't find one that that I like after having these other Amish I'm cabinets. I'm like, let me choose it. I'll grab one. And I'll, I'll just deal with it, you know. And so we ended up calling him back and saying, hey, we need a 24 inch naughty alder. Yeah. What was that stain called? I forgot what the name of it was. I don't know. I don't forgot to. <laughs> I can't believe we've been we've been customizing so much stuff from recently countertops. I, the names are all flowing together. The only one I could remember is something smoke, but I can't no, no, the name it of smoke. it. I'll find out and put it on the screen. <laughs> but <laughs> so I was worried though because you know he'd have to order that special wood in, and then he would have to. I asked him if he had more of the paint left. If he oh used the it white all. no the, what paint. Yeah, so I, I was more worried about him having the stain because I didn't want him to have to go buy a gallon of the stain. Uh, he had leftover of the R stain, and he was all, he was doing another kitchen with naughty alder wood, so it worked out. So he was able to do it for us. So all of our cabinets are Amish built, naughty alder. Well, here is the part that probably most people want to know is the cost. Dun, dun, dun. So this is the actual invoice. So we actually, uh, we went to him twice. The first time was just, we, we didn't really have the specifics picked out during the first visit. And we ended up adding some more cabinetry. I think the, the yeah. laundry room or, yeah. I don't know, we, we added some more. So the, this is the final invoice that we had and, and the price. This was the final price. So it was... Um, twenty five thousand dollars, even. I don't know. I think it says ten cents. Twenty five thousand dollars and ten cents. Oh, Lord. <laughs> or maybe even. Well, at this point, what's ten cents, right? <laughs> so, I mean, the the other box stores, they they were within a thousand or two, of of that without some of the customization and the special features that we ordered. But you just didn't have accessories. We knew it once we sat with him and talked with him. Yes. Once you feel his demeanor, once you, you, it's a comfort. And thing. the time that he spent with us oh. one afternoon, we were there. Oh, the, the final All process. <laughs> oh, it was like three or four hours. But we, we sat we, with we, him. When we said, yeah. let's go, let's do it. Uh, we really mean, especially me and him, because, you know, I've got the dimensions and I know the layouts and we really hammered it hard. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but some of the things you'll learn about Amish and you've always got to keep aware of Amish is that they are not high tech. They do everything the old fashioned way. So there's things like he had an email address, but it was actually an e emails to a fax machine, a prints out on a fax machine. So he's not going to respond back with an email, things like that. Um, you can't send him changes easy, easily. You can do it. It's just, you just got to be aware of those things. He's not going to have a 3D modeling software to draw up your kitchen and spin it around and, and show you. No, he freehands it. He, he freehands me everything. And, me and him were sitting, there, we were sitting there drawing on the back to see the paper, me and him, and to talk, you know. But uh, I can visualize in 3D. Uh, you know, I did drafting for 12 years, so I, I'm used to 3D, in, you know, in my head. You know, uh, but Cindy definitely likes to have a, a mm -hmm. C in the three D model, which which really helped by going to the box store because they'll you know they whip all that stuff out and and that, that's def definitely helpful. You know, and the Amish do have a different way of doing things. Uh, 
like when they're at your home, they they won't they tend they won't accept anything to drink. They'll bring their own. They'll bring their own food. They won't you know. So don't go making them lunch because they're not going to eat. Yeah, it. or offer them you drinks. Know, that's I mean, just you the, can, that, but it's the way they're you know. That's just the way they are. You know, they you know they do use modern tools, but they generally use battery oper- operated tools. They won't use a plug in tools. Mm-hmm. One of the items of, uh, with them also is they don't drive. So they hire a driver to bring them over. And as it happens with our installation, (laughs) I got a call because he was having problems getting a driver to bring him here. This was in the middle of COVID. And he's in Kentucky and and we're in in Indiana. Right. Mm -hmm. So the rule was at that time is if you cross the state line out of Kentucky and you go back into Kentucky, that you had to be quarantined for 14 days. So he was having problems finding a driver that would do it. And, um, so he just asked me, he said, can you come pick me up, you know, halfway? And I was like, sure, let's get it done. You know, I had to make sure that I could, what kind of trailer he had to make sure it wasn't too much. Cause I knew it was going to be a lot of, a lot of, uh, cabinets. cabinetry, mm-hmm. but they had it all in one, you know, 18 foot enclosed trailer and, and my truck could pull it. So, uh, yeah, I went and picked him up and after we Took were him back. And after a 14 hour <laughs> day, cause they wanted to get it done in one day. So they didn't have to come back after a 14 hour day. Then they, uh, I hauled him back to Louisville. Mm-hmm. Not a biggie. It was worth it because it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And then the only other thing that I wanted to mention is he he did have to make custom stain samples for us. Yes. Because he had mentioned we were there. Um, you can see on the screen as well. We had an idea of the color that we wanted the stain to be for the cabinets. And he said that different woods stain different with the same Stain color. Correct. So what he had in his shop was not any naughty alder stains. So he custom made some samples and mm-hmm. mailed them to us. And, them and to here us. they are. <laughs> See if you can pick out which one and after, and <laughs> is after, our cabinet. <laughs> and after we picked it out and after we were done, he called me up and he says, can you send those to somebody this, else? Somebody else. <laughs> and so I, I literally like, okay. mailed them to the next customer. <laughs> yeah. So the, the Amish ask you to do things like that sometimes. So if you end up using the Amish for anything, sometimes they ask you for special favors and that's, that's just how they are. So just, just be prepared, pre, excuse me, be prepared for that and then help them out if you can. That's the way they, um, they, they the help way, you and you help them. That's, that's the how it works. They, they are a community yes. people. Or yeah. So for them family. to ask you for something, it doesn't seem abnormal to them. So, uh, and it's fine. I mean, yeah. And I, it, I it's mail, fine. You know, it, I, it throws you off guard sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like come and pick me up, yeah. but okay. Well, I come from a small rural town where it was basically the same thing. You know, farmers who all help each other. So mm-hmm. to me, that yeah, was nothing. You know, Hey, can you come pick me up? You know, da, 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 da. and I'm like, yeah, sure. What time? You know, where, where do I meet you? Right. I, I mean, d- to us, it's no big deal, but for some people, you know, just, just be expected. Sometimes they, they ask you additional things like that, like to mail this to somebody else and, come pick us up and we also he was also going to come to our house to do measurements we forgot to mention that tony he asked tony to do the measurements now not everybody could do that because cabinets are very very specific i mean you have to be exact (laughs) with the measurements so he asked tony to do it and i'm sure if tony would have said he wasn't comfortable with it then we would have figured out a different way, but COVID is making, yeah, COVID hurts you know, a whole different thing. But Tony, Tony did do the measurements for our cabinet. So you did a good job, Tony. But that was, <laughs> they uh, turned out uh, nice. Oh, he, it, it, he, it nailed it, but yeah, that wasn't as simple as just measuring the width of an opening. No, I, you I, have to measure I, corners and through, depth. And, yeah. He told me how I was going to where what he needed. And I was yes. like, Oh wow. You know, you know, just, you know, if you, like our bar has a wall on both sides, left side and right hand side. I'm like, oh, that's easy. It's 60 inch wide. Nope. You got to <laughs> measure it at the 60 inch at the front face, or you got to measure the width at the front face. And then you have to measure the width in the back, all the way against the back wall, because that drywall is not square. Nothing, nothing square. Believe me, I have to mm. measure and I see how, just how off everything is. Right. And you also have to measure at the floor, halfway up and all the way at the top. In the front and in the back. So literally, oh, that's wow. one, that's two, four, that's a lot of measure. six, eight, you know, dimensions just to get the width. Eight, eight dimensions just to get the width of it. And I had to do width, height, you know, openings, this, that. So it was, that was something. But yes, yeah. I mean, I do construction. I have done, you know, like I said, I was a draftsman too. So, you know, so that was. 
So yeah, if you are even considering Amish anything, just just be aware that you you may have to do some extra things that you normally wouldn't have to to do right. if you just went with modern. We couldn't be happy. Uh, modern couldn't, contractors, basically. But, but we couldn't have been any happier. Oh, with the Amish. Uh, no, I I would one hundred and fifty percent choose the Amish again. For anything. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks so much for coming along with us on this cabinet talk. We hope that you guys enjoyed everything, maybe learned something, and we ask that you come back and, and see our next videos and hit that subscribe, like, and if you have any comments, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment and we'll answer your questions. Otherwise, we're going to head inside and continue on with our barn dough build. Get we're to trying working to on the next up. video. <laughs> yeah, so we appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. See you soon. Leave us a comment. Thanks, guys. <laughs>